Well, hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here, glad you're stopping by. It's been a couple days. Uh, you know, I've put in maybe a couple shorts and some community posts, but kind of wanted to get some content out for you guys to kind of talk about it. Um, so I've I've not been keeping up with Chili that much, uh, honestly. Uh, f f since I, you know, took a small break, which was about a little over a week, um, I really didn't pay much attention to Chili. Um, and I kind of feel like, you know, it's a good thing. Um, the less I talk about him, the better I feel because I, I kind of get pissed off when I talk about the guy. And I guess you could say he lives rent free in my head, which, you know, it's, it's fun because, you know, he's actually became a normal part of our lives here. Um, as much as we hate to say it, um, uh, it's quite interesting, quite interesting to a lot of us. There's a quite a few of us that's covering chili and you know it's 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 a train wreck basically we're all watching this train wreck it's almost like watching an episode of the real world but really dumb which the real world it's not like a great thing to begin with same like jersey shore or something like that i think he thinks he's in this kind of thing um one of the things he's been doing is he's back in california and he's making threats to chad uh says he can kick his ass he you know shown that he can hobble around on his fucking broken knee, which we, we've we seen videos of his so-called broken knee. Um, and he's been trying to get himself in the limelight with other YouTubers that really don't even know who he is. And we watched a video where they said some YouTubers like, yeah, I don't know you. And he said, you know, I'm a controversial figure. The only controversial thing about you, Chili, is the fact that you tell kids to have cancer and run away from charity fights for kids with cancer it's not that came out of your mouth anyways like i said anything anytime you think of chili you should also think about children with cancer because that's going to be attached to him for the rest of his career uh i don't know how much longer he's got on this platform um you know he's losing people and then you know i'm not a big channel i know i know Probably after uh, the chili content goes down, I'm probably not going to get as much. I probably won't grow as much. But I'm thankful for the people I do have, and I'm not going to try to uh, cause problems with you guys. I, you know, I want I want the channel to grow, and I do want to take the channel in a direction that uh, makes me feel happy and helps you guys at the same time. But I mean, does that mean less chili videos? Yeah, uh, ultimately, I think it does. I think it does um, mean less because I kind of feel like one less person talking about him, you know, he's going to continue falling out of relevancy. Uh, so, you know, might as well just put the horse down why it's still there. And yeah, I mean, we can still make content about chili. I mean, there's always going to be room for that. Um, but really, um, so. One of the things I was talking to Chad about, a uh, good friend, Legicator, you guys know Legicator, give Legicator some love. Um, so, you know, I, I haven't been into the gym for a couple weeks now. So a lot of it stems from me having to do the moving, um, you know, the job stuff, um, and just my mental health has been out of whack. So I haven't been paying attention. So I got myself really far behind. Now, I was going almost every single day. Um, you know, rather it be to the YMCA doing swimming or to Planet Fitness, which we had to cancel our Planet Fitness is because money. Um, so we'll work that out as soon as these things come. Uh, we just got to get used to the first couple of months, you know, living on our own together. So that's the thing. And, you know, we're worried about the wedding and it's been stressful. And, you know, when got when you guys get stressed, when things are stressful, sometimes uh, you have arguments. And you know, my fiance and I, we probably have had some arguments. And um, you know, I hate doing that. I hate having any type of arguments, uh, especially if her uh, she means all she means the world to me. And you know, I, I kind of shut down when that happens. And it's a lot to do just the stress of everything. Um, rather it be my job. Um, just everything, uh, which you guys know that. But, yeah, I find one of the things that Chad and I was talking about, which he kind of gave me a good idea, is try to work for something a little bit uh, a little bit better, something uh, to look forward to, uh, something that's going to be better for a lot of people. 
Um, and, you know, I don't know for sure if me and Josh Abrams is going to have any type of charity fight. Uh, I honestly haven't talked to Josh Abrams in a long time. I, I would love to do it, honestly. I, I think it would be kind of cool. Um, even if we're just slap fighting, you know, I, you know, I haven't talked to Josh for a while, um, you know, but I don't want to let you guys down and be like, hey, it's happening and it's not going to happen. Uh, I want to be kind of up front with you guys. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I was training for that, but I do plan on going back and do some training. But what we're going to train for going forward is some type of triathlon, 5K, um, Warrior Dash, uh, Ironman contest thing. Uh, something that we can actually do, we can document, uh, and you know it's going to help us out with uh, a lot of things. Uh, again, getting back into the groove of things of you know working out. Uh, learning to bring myself back into a more physical form. Um, because it, it, it's funny because, you know, I get a lot of, <laughs> I get a lot of hate, uh, especially if you guys seen some of the stuff I get a lot, a lot of people just go after my weight, which I understand. Like it's easy to go after my weight. Um, it doesn't really bother me, uh, that much. Like, yeah, it sucks a little bit, but everything stings from time to time, but it doesn't really bother me too bad. Uh, but I do like to, anytime there's some kind of crazy con comment like directed towards me, I always like to feature it on my community page because you get to see how stupid some of these people are. And especially the guy that, chef's kiss, chef's kiss, that guy. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, definitely not uh, a good person to be talking about health and weight. Uh, that's for sure. I'm not trying to fat shame the guy, but he kind of fat shamed me and... Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> but anyways, uh, that's something I kind of want to work for, work towards. I think Chad has a good idea of that. Um, you know, maybe we can get more people into it. Uh, there is something called the Warrior Dash. Uh, it's in Ohio, and it's kind of similar. It's like an obstacle triathlon type thing. They say it's kind of brutal. I've never been in a 5K, never been in anything like that. And, you know, I don't want to give you guys false hope and uh, let this be another felt thing. I don't think I failed the gym. I, I realize um, but I, you know, I've not been doing what I should be doing. Uh, and I realize that. I notice uh, you guys should probably notice, um, you know, I've probably gained a couple pounds in these last couple weeks, which is embarrassing. Sucks uh, quite a bit. But... Yeah, I think I think having a goal going forward uh, with something like that, um, that would be pretty cool. Uh, definitely document that um, for sure between Chad and I and whoever else wants to join. You know, if we have more uh, of of you guys on this channel, uh, content creators or something who wants to join something like this, uh, this would be cool. Or, you know, we could even do our own little thing um, for charity, of course. Uh, you know, I don't want to money personally from it uh any money that we was to get from donations like that specifically for you know you know there's there's people giving me donations that's fine but anytime we have like a stream or something like that where it's um in regards to something good uh, you know i like to keep that money going to you know saint jude's or uh any other place uh mental health stuff um i kind of want to keep it in that line uh, so I posted to, and I wanted to touch on this. So I, I I have a favorite YouTuber. Everybody has somebody they look up to. Um, you know, about maybe ten years ago, uh, I started following this guy. Uh, his name was Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight, and I made a lot of content about him. It was almost unhealthy. Um, you know, I was trying so hard to just be like Boogie, and you know, it's it it was cool and all. Uh, it was quite unhealthy, the, the fact that I was, like, trying so hard to get his attention. But he posted a video, last like, his, his last few years in the YouTube community has been brutal. Really brutal. Uh, some of it's self-inflicted. Uh, some of it's not. Some of it's not warranted. And uh, if you guys go back and check um, what I'm talking about, uh, you can kind of see. He's got a lot of content. The guy's got, like, four point some million followers. You know, I've been following him ever since he was at 100,000. So, 
that should probably say something. You know, a couple hundred thousand to four point some million. Uh, which is insane. I couldn't imagine getting that kind of numbers. Like, I don't know if it's even possible anymore. Like, it'd be amazing if, like, one day we wake up and we're, like, 2 million followers or 100,000. That that would just be insane. Um, maybe that's something we can possibly look for. I mean, it's a future. We can think big. Uh, again, it's, it's, it's a marathon, not a, not a sprint, not a 400-meter dash. It's, you know, a marathon, quite, quite huge. And anyways, uh, he's been having some problems um, adjusting to, you know, he's about to, he's, he's losing a lot of things um, financially. And, you know, I'm not saying go to donate to Boogie. Um, I'm not saying that at all. And, and, you know, I'll never be like, hey, donate to me. I, I, I don't want you guys to think that I'm going to come on here and say, please give me money. Um, but he kind of did ask for money and some help the other day. And I figured maybe I could reach out to him and see if we can get him on the channel, uh, kind of tell his story, um, maybe have some fun, play some games, um, and just kind of help him out. I, you know, like I said, it's not about money. It's like trying to get him back into the limelight. I, you know, I'd like to see this redemption arc, uh, the underdog coming back from the grave and doing these great things. Uh, I'll probably never reach out. I'll never, I never. I sent an email out to him today, uh, asking if he would be interested. I still haven't heard back from him. Uh, and I probably won't. Uh, again, it's a huge YouTuber. Most likely, he's never going to find me again. Um, so I at least cried. If you guys want to give a shot, that would be great. Um, if you guys want to reach out to Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight, tell him, hey, we'd love to help. Uh, mental health stuff. Uh, Cause I, I I feel like the channel needs to go that direction, mental health wise. I think that's what we're good at. Uh, yeah, I like to have fun too. I like to have fun. I like to make you guys laugh. That's one of my favorite things to do. Whenever you guys tell me I'm making laugh, that's that's amazing. Uh, I always like for the longest time. I always wanted to have the ability to cheer somebody up, make them laugh, um, even if chili is the butt of the joke, which most of the time it is. Um, but yeah, uh, and I I, I kind of you know, talked about this last video, but it'd be awesome to do some streams with, uh, some of the guys, um, you know, rather be mass hole, uh, Kate, uh, Irish demon, um, team skeptic, uh, even Josh Abrams, uh, any of these guys. And I know a lot of people will not get pissed off of certain people we associate ourselves with, but I do try to be careful and try to learn about these people before I, uh, endorse them. And, you know, I haven't really had any problems with any of these people, and they've been really nice to me. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of want to go in that direction. Um, maybe have a weekly series um, where we talk about you know, how there is one, um, uh, there's a person, and I, I forgot the username, damn it, Danger Dave, I believe. Um, I could be wrong. If I got, your, got it wrong, just tell me. Um, so one of the things I like to do is if you have a story, if you want to come on and do a interview, say maybe a stream or just you and I will just record the meeting, get your story, well, meeting, your interview, get your story out. Um, it doesn't matter, you know, if you're having problems mental health wise, um, you know, I'd love to get your story out. There's so many people that sent me emails telling me their story. And I'd love to get a chance to bring that out. Um, to, if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. Don't feel obligated just because I said so. Um, but I think it would be kind of cool to give you guys a chance to uh, tell your story and maybe meet some friends along the way. Maybe even build your own YouTube empire, which would be crazy, right? Um, but, yeah, I think I want to do that. I kind of want to do maybe a weekly, bi-weekly series of just bringing people on uh, from the community or other channels and talk about stuff like that. Because, you know, I'd like to keep it kind of personal. You know, we'll have fun. from t uh, We'll have fun. Uh, and once the streams get started, which I, I plan on streaming, hopefully next week I do plan on doing that. And I know I say that a lot, but I do plan on getting back into streaming. Uh, my job uh, and, you know, the wedding and uh, this moving thing does take priority. So that's kind of the lack of content um, and just me dealing with other things. 
But um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. And if you want to reach out to me, uh, it's jdbarnhart2005 at gmail.com. Uh, send me an email. Uh, just let me know who you are. Tell me your story. And let me know if that would be something you're interested in. Now, like I said, I do get quite a bit of emails, which is weird for me. Um, so I'll try my best to get back with you as soon as I possibly can. And hopefully we can work some things out. I do, like I said, I do have some things that I want to do with a couple members of the community. And hopefully um, we can help these people out, uh, share their stories. And you know, maybe you guys can relate to it or, you know, whatever. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.